Hi, I'm Kat, and this tutorial is how to make this Dreamcatcher bracelet. You can follow my instructions more exactly and replicate my design, or you can completely switch out all of the materials and colors for this bracelet to customize it to your own taste. For this project, you'll need scissors, hairspray, jewelry pliers, some wide lace for the outside, some embroidery floss for the inside, a wide ring, assorted sizes of jump rings, some chain that's going to fit around your wrist, and various charms, a clasp, feathers if you want to use those, end crimps for the feathers, beads, and a needle with a wide enough eye for your embroidery floss, as well as glue. To begin, start by putting some glue on the outside of your ring and then wind your wide lace or thread around the ring like so. The thinner your lace is, the longer this is going to take, so I recommend something that's wide and flat. You'll want to glue at various points around the ring to keep it from unraveling, and start and finish this around the break in your split ring if you're using a split ring. Next, you'll want to tie your embroidery floss onto your ring and then thread the other end through a needle. You'll take it over and around the outside outside of your ring, then back up underneath and pass it through between the ring and the thread that you already put across, like so. Then continue it on and you'll want to do this several times around the ring, trying your best to evenly space your knots. You're not really tying a knot, you're just sort of looping it over and then passing it back underneath and that will make it hold in place. Once you've done this around the entire ring, instead of going over the outside of the ring again, you'll put it over the outside of the thread that you've already strung across. So over the outside, then back up under, and you'll just keep continuing this pattern. You're doing the exact same thing, except you're attaching it onto the existing thread instead of the ring like you were in the beginning. And you'll just keep spiraling around and around your piece doing the exact same thing and that's going to make it spiral smaller and smaller until you get to the very center. So you'll want to make sure that you do your very first set of strings pretty tight because that's going to provide a solid base for you to continue stringing everything else onto. And I keep moving the same direction the entire way through the project. And I just decided to stop when the pattern looked like it was getting too small to actually look like anything. Then I strung on a bead, tied a knot on the outside of the bead, and trimmed it. And that is going to hold everything in place. You could just finish it off with a knot, but I like the way the bead looks. Once you've done that, open up a large jump ring, attach that to your large loop, and then attach another large jump ring to that one and close it up. That's what you're going to attach your clasp to. Then open another large jump ring and attach it to the opposite side of your dream catcher. Attach a small jump ring to that one and then use that to attach your chain. At this point, make sure your chain fits around your wrist to the right size and then use another jump ring to attach your lobster clasp or whichever type of clasp you want to use. Then you'll want to attach any charms or feathers that you're going to put on your dream catcher. For the feathers, I just took a pack of these really cheap feathers from any craft store, put a little bit of hairspray on my finger, and then use that to stick the bits of feather into a little bit more manageable shape. Once you've put hairspray over all of your feathers, you can then trim the edges to whatever shape or size that you want, and they're ready to be used. And the great thing about these packs of cheap feathers is that you can usually find synthetic feathers and they come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors, so you can completely customize them to suit your needs. Once your hairspray is dry and the feathers are trimmed, go ahead and use your end crimps to attach to the ends of your feathers, pinch them shut, and they're ready to be used as charms. Once you're done with that, use large jump rings to attach your feathers all to one side of your dream catcher, and then attach any other beads or charms that you want to add to your dream catcher. And that is your finished bracelet. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe.